Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video where we are going to explore AI Gateway, that is Artificial Intelligence Gateway, a powerful tool and not just a concept that can help supercharge your AI applications. In this video, we are going to break down what AI Gateway is, why it matters, not just for your department, but also for other customers. And I'll show you how to set it up using Cloudflare AI Gateway step by step. Please like, subscribe, share the channel. Also check out the our product cloudmysite.com for any of your cloud hosting requirements for 100% on cloud with the reliability and but cost of deploying on-prem. With this, let's get started. So what is Artificial Intelligence Gateway or AI Gateway? AI Gateway is like a traffic manager for your AI APIs. It handles things like caching, rate limiting, and security while giving you detailed analytics. Essentially, AI Gateway helps you optimize costs and improve the reliability of your AI-powered applications. Why use AI Gateway? Let's talk about the problem AI Gateway solves. AI API calls are expensive. The gateway reduces costs by caching. Most AI services, they lack visibility. And the gateway can give you detailed usage insights compared to you using the AI agents APIs, which can be expensive. There's also the risk of abuse, like bot spamming, while the gateway lets you control that. And finally, AI Gateway reduces latency using the Global Edge Network. And in this case, we're going to be showcasing Cloudflare's AI Gateway. So the latency would be reduced by Cloudflare's Global Edge Network. Key features. First, observability. You can track requests, tokens, and costs. Second, cost control with quotas and rate limits. Third is caching. You can reduce redundant calls by caching. And then there is security that can protect your keys and prevent misuse. And finally, performance improvements with edge computing. Architecture overview. AI Gateway architecture overview. Here's how AI Gateway works. And users' requests go through AI Gateway first and then to the actual AI provider, such as OpenAI or Anthropic or Claude or any of your LLM models you want to use, it'll, it'll go through that. Think of it as a reverse proxy for AI APIs, but with extra benefits like caching and traffic control. Let's jump into the demo showcasing Cloudflare AI Gateway. So what we are going to show how you can create your first AI Gateway using Cloudflare. You can create multiple gateways to control different applications. And for this, the prerequisite, you need a Cloudflare account. You can go sign up for free Cloudflare. There is no cost in signing up. You may be charged for the resources consumed. Come to your dashboard and on the left panel, you will see the AI section. I don't have any AI gateways. So first I will click create gateway. I will just choose say YouTube AI gateway. And you could give any name of your choice. Click create and the AI gateway is created. Note the gateway name has a 64 character limit. Now, what we need to do is we need to choose gateway authentication. When setting up a new gateway, we need to choose between an authenticated and unauthenticated gateway. Enabling an authenticated gateway requires each request to include a valid authorization token adding an extra layer of security. So here at Aditya Technologies, we recommend using an authenticated gateway when storing logs to prevent unauthorized access and protect against invalid requests that can inflate log storage. To set up the authenticated gateway, choose the settings of the AI gateway. And this is where we first need to create an authentication token. And you click create an AI gateway authentication token. Give a name. In this case, I'll just give YouTube token because after this video, I'm going to be deleting the resources. 
and need the permission of run i'll keep the default one and you can just click create api token now copy the api token because after this it will not be shown again once i close so do copy it and do save it i like to save locally no and also just copy the curl command we will be needing for subsequent invocation click finish and now turn to the settings page and toggle this button and enable authentication for youtube ai gateway so you click confirm and we should have the authentication enabled so let's try a simple request using postman in here we will import this curl command and i will this is what it is saying account id gateway id and then the token is what i am passing this is what and collection name you can pro import into any collection i assume a lot of people would have used postman if you're comfortable any other rest client feel free to use that but Post postman is a pretty popular one you can download it for free uh, the community version and you can also be able to sync with your team members port it to collection i have my default collection selected and this is the api and now in here so here we can set the token you will need to provide the open ai token okay? and this is the cloudflare ai gateway token that we need to provide along with the account id i have set these variables and i have put the ai gateway token the one we had got earlier open ai you can go to platform.openai.com to get a token it doesn't need to be open ai it can be llama or any of the models that cloudflare supports provide the cloudflare account id and in here the gateway id give the name in this case it's the youtube ai gateway it's test it and see if it works i guess i get some error which is saying please configure ai gateway in the cloudflare dashboard so let's check out that part so the issue was with the environment variables where the environment variables for some reason were not accepted so i have put the account id hardcoded it along with the api keys in the header but you could check it out uh, how they have to put the right sort of variables in postman but now i have the right variable and i tested it out earlier with the incorrect api key uh, i got the message uh, i put the right api key and let's hit a send and see if this works okay so insufficient quota i need to increase the open ai setup so let me check that out i topped up the open ai dpa payment and now let's try sending a request and see if it works this is via ai gateway where i'm sending the request that is routed by a ai gateway to open ai and it has provided me the response now let's check out the dashboard back to cloudflare you can see the status as well in the ai gateway logs this was this one was a success i can click here i can see the chat completion the api sent the request the response the number of tokens the output if i would have to go through open ai i wouldn't have got that much granddaddy compared to using an ai gateway and the request the completion the setup so it is all a saas based model compared to other products such as calypso which you have to deploy on kubernetes and it's a lot more management compared to the saas based setup and the request you can send via api but you can also use the sdk you can use a python sdk you can have uh, open ai sdk as part of your code you can also use vercel ai sdk let's check out caching because sending each request may not be worthwhile we come to settings enable the caching if i send the same request again and if i have the same prompt with the same data it doesn't need to go through the llm thus reducing my costs also and this reaching behavior will be uniformly applied to all requests that support caching and if you need to modify the cache settings for a specific requests you have the flexibility to override this setting on a per request basis cloudflare ai gateway also allows you to set custom costs at the request level and by using this feature the cost metrics can accurately reflect your unique pricing overriding the default or public model costs and just note custom costs will only apply to requests that pass tokens in their response 
request without token information will not have the cost calculated. Back in Postman, to calculate custom cost, we need to add this particular header that is CloudFront CF dash AI Gateway dash custom cost and a JSON value such as per token in point zero zero and token out. And we can go back, click a save if we want and click send. In this request, I will be able to get the custom cost rate limiting is the next feature that AI Gateway provides. And rate limiting, we need to come here in settings and this is the rate limiting requests. Rate limiting controls the traffic that reaches your application. That also prevents expensive bills and suspicious activity. You can define rate limit as the number of requests that get sent in a specific time frame. For example, you can limit your application to 100 requests per 60 seconds. You can also select if you would like a fixed or sliding rate limiting technique. With rate, rate limiting, we allow a certain number of requests within a window of time. For example, if it is a fixed rate, the window is based on time, there would be no more than X requests in a 10 minute window. If it is a sliding rate, there would be no more than X requests in the last 10 minutes. So this is, it's a very simple setup. You can come here and click enable this setting. And this is where your traffic, it shows limit traffic when rate limit, rate exceeds 50 requests over a one minute fixed period. You can change it to be fixed or sliding as well. You can change the number, the time period to be one minute, five minutes, as well as the amount. And you can click save if you want to have this setting. Custom metadata as well in AI Gateway, you can tag the request with user ID IDs or other identifiers, enabling better tracking and analysis of your requests. Metadata values can be strings, numbers or booleans and will appear in your logs, making it easy to search and filter through your data. Key features of custom tagging, you can have user IDs, team names, test indicators and other relevant information to your requests. You can have enhanced logging as well as additional search and filter. The supported metadata types of the custom metadata are string number and boolean. Likewise, you need to have the custom metadata as tags. And let's go to Postman to see the custom metadata. Back in Postman, so we need to add a additional header for the custom metadata. This one is going to be the key. So that is CF AIG dash metadata. And the value that I can provide is, this is the sample value that I will JSON. This team is AI user one, two, three, four, and test these are few of the metadatas. And if I hit send, this is where this request will be tagged with this particular metadata. We can see logs. And this is where the request that we sent. This one you see was a cache request. It was returned by the AI gateway itself. It didn't hit the LLM model in this case, OpenAI's model. And also if we see the analytics, you see these are the number of requests, the number of tokens consumed, the cost, the cached, as well as the errors. This is the analytics that shows the AI gateway dashboard, metrics on requests, tokens, cachings, errors, and cost. You can filter these metrics by time. You can provide the custom range as well as the previous seven or whatever time period you want. Now let's check out guardrails. Guardrails helps you deploy AI applications safely by intercepting and evaluating both user prompts and model responses for harmful content. Act guardrails acts as a proxy between your application and model providers, in this case, OpenAI, Anthropic, DeepSeek, and others. AI Gateways guardrails ensure a consistent and secure experience across your entire AI ecosystem. Guardrails proactively monitor interactions between users and AI models giving you consistent moder moderation, enhanced safety, and user trust, flexibility, and control over allowed content, as well as guardrails help in auditing and compliance capabilities. Now, how guardrails works is AI Gateway will intercept all interactions in real time by evaluating content against predefined safety parameter. You can just click here, enable, and you can provide the hazard categories, all categories, 
as well as the response hazard categories, like something that happened with Grok. If we had an AI gateway, maybe it, those scenarios could have been avoided. You can have this categories for responses and also you can have on figure other categories as well, sex crimes and a lot of these categories are with guardrails. The last topic is evaluations of AI gateway. Evaluations, they help understand your application's performance because developers have different priorities to find the optimal solution and that is where evaluation could be required. And AI gateways evaluations, they provide the data needed to make informed decisions on how to optimize your AI application. Whether it is adjusting the model, provider or prompt, this feature delivers insights into key metrics around performance, speed and cost. Evaluations empowers developers to better understand your application's behavior, ensuring improved accuracy, reliability and customer satisfaction. Evaluations use datasets, which are collections of logs stored for analysis. You can create datasets by applying filters in the logs tab, which help narrow down specific logs for evaluation. Create a new dataset. And from this data, you can just click here, create your data set, test, and I'll just put data set, click create, and you have your data set created. And now you can do a manage data set by clicking manage data set. If you have more than one data set, you can manage it appropriately. Now, after creating a data set, we need to choose the evaluation parameter. So for this, we will come back to evaluation that's that we have the data set. Now this is where the evaluators I'll leave it as speed, cost and human feedback. And this is where the speed is calculated in average duration of request. Cost is calculated in average cost of request. And human feedback is calculate the performance using human feedback. Click continue. And I'll give it initial evaluation. And click run evaluation. This is the cost it took the speed of the logs, the human feedback. And once you have more data, data set coming in, this number should be more insightful. So coming back to the pricing and pros and cons. Good news. There's a free tier in Cloudflare AI Gateway that includes 100,000 requests per month. The pros, it has easy setup, global edge coverage, and support for multiple AI providers. The cons, since it's a proxy, there's a tiny bit of added latency on first calls, but caching eventually fixes most of that. So what are the, the final thoughts on AI Gateway? In summary, AI Gateway, and in this case, Cloudflare AI Gateway, is like having a Cloudflare for your AI APIs. It not only saves you money, but also adds security and gives you full observability. And if you want to try it, head over to developers.cloudflare.com slash AI gateway. Now let's go back and clean up the resources. First of all, this data set that we had created, I can delete the evaluation in the settings of YouTube AI gateway. This is where you will see the option of delete gateway. Click delete and this will remove your AI gateway and all the keys and other setup that you had done. So hope this was a good intuitive video that you will learn how to have AI Gateway setup for your LLMs. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing our videos. Please drop in a comment for anything that was not clear or any additional things you want to look. Thank you and have a good day.